channel. In this video, I'm actually going to show you a quick, simple, easy way to make cold brew coffee. So there's a few simple things you need. For one, you're gonna to need to spend about $25, $30 on a maker here. And they're pretty cheap. Uh, I have links below for multiple of these if you wanna purchase them. Uh, they're not very expensive. It's extremely easy to make cold brew coffee and it's way cheaper than going to Starbucks or going to Kroger's and getting the Starbucks, the big $10 uh, mug they have there. Uh, simple concept does take two to three days to do so that's something to keep in mind but let's jump in and i will show you how to do it here so again you will need a few things first thing you're going to need is coffee which i already have here and you're going to need a coffee grinder or you can actually have a lot of uh, if you have a coffee shop around your house uh, a lot of times they can do it and what we're going to do is you're going to need to grind the coffee and generally you want to do it as coarse as possible so i have mindset at about 48 which is about as coarse as it gets for this uh coffee grinder this is a, a rancilio rocky this is a way overkill grinder than what we need but it was a wedding present so we just roll with it uh, so what you actually do here is I'm gonna set you down and you just grind the coffee. After you have this full, generally what I do is I will only fill it about three-fourths full. So I'll fill it to about right there. Uh, the reason why I do that is the coffee, when it gets wet, it kind of expands a little bit. So if you put it filled up too high, it will come all the way up the top. So generally I just fill it to about, as you can see there, it's about three-fourths full, a little bit more than that. And now let's go over to stage area number two. And basically what you do is So all you do is you put this in here and then you are going to need to fill this with water. So, so you do not usually typically want to fill it all the way. That's something to keep in mind. Uh, sometimes you can leave this out. If you want to make it easier, you can just leave it out. Uh, I'm going to make a mess here doing it like this, but generally I just leave it in and just fill it here through the side. Uh, you don't fill it all the way, uh, but if you leave it in, it kind of gives you an idea of how far you need to go up. You do want to use cold water. You do not use warm water for this. Uh, again, this is a cold brew coffee, so that makes it a little bit less acidic, a little sweeter, and you just fill it to there. Generally, I don't fill it up all the way because it will uh, kind of go up a little bit as the coffee grounds uh, absorb some of the water and expand. So just wipe it off, set it here on the counter, put top on, and then you just let it sit. Usually it takes two to three days. And usually after I let it sit for 12 hours, I'll go and put a little bit more water in it and go from there. Uh, so that is it guys. So if you're wanting to do cold brew coffee, save a little bit of money, try to get the good coffee grounds. It's the one thing if you have a local coffee shop that does their own roasting and they don't roast it six, eight, 10 months in advance, that is recommended. But you can pick one of these for generally 25 to 50 dollars depending on how much you want to spend and you can make cold brew coffee it just takes two to three days so that's it guys thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time